Hey guys and welcome back to another one and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. Now today as you can see I've got three different storage solutions right over here targeted at laptops and we will be talking about that in just a few seconds with results and my opinion and so on and so forth. But for those of you that follow the channel for a while uh, you have seen me building a few systems here on the channel, uh, desktop systems I mean and whenever anyone asks me hey Robert which storage solution should I get my opinion is always the same a very simple one get a, a pure SSD for your boot drive and your applications and then get one, two or three 3.5 inch hard drives, um, 7200 RPM or slower if you need um, more silent on the inside your system uh, to store your videos and your pictures and whatever you need uh, in terms of data. That is the way that I work. When we go to laptops, things are a bit more tricky and this was the challenging part that I had uh, last week in terms of a friend of mine, which this computer is not mine, it's from a friend of mine. Um, so if you have a laptop with two bays for hard drives, I would suggest the same. Go with one uh, SSD on one of the bays for your operating system. And also, let me just turn down the volume right over here. Sorry about that. I'm not going to cut the video just because of an email notification. Moving on. If we have two bays on a laptop, just uh, a pure SSD on one of them and then a hard drive on the other bay. And you will have the same performance that we have um, similarly on the desktop. On the other hand, there are a lot of laptops such as this one that only has one bay. And that uh, led me to something which is an SSHD. Now, this is not new uh, technology. It has been around for a while. I just never had tested uh, before. And today uh, I want to share with you that I'm really happy with the performance and the budget or the price that we pay for one of these uh, drives. This is a Seagate uh, SSHD, one terabyte with eight gigs of uh, flash storage. And I'll talk a little bit more about those or eight uh, gigs, sorry, those eight gigs and how the drive uh, uses. But before we move on to the uh, how the drive works, let's see uh, prices in between. So I'll post on screen the prices for January 2016. If you watch this video in a few months, the prices probably will be a little bit different. But for now, uh, I can get one terabyte mechanical hard drive for uh, 75 euros. I can get one terabyte SSHD from Seagate at 95 euros. This is Portugal prices, but uh, I believe that anywhere in the world will be very similar, uh, depending on the currency, but very, very similar. And at the same time, I can get one terabyte uh, SSD for 420 euros uh, for one terabyte or 100 euros, which is within budget for uh, 250 gigs capacity. Now, the challenging part, which is uh, what I want to share with you is my friend said, hey Robert, I want something, a drive bigger because he has a 500 gigs uh, right over here and he's, he was reaching the limit of, of the capacity. So I wanted something, uh, or he wanted something bigger and if possible, faster. So the first solution, um, that I suggested was SSD. But when I mentioned the 420 euros, he said, hey Robert, that's out of the question. That was almost the price of my computer, so forget about it. And I did uh, search around and I found this uh, Seagate SSHD, uh, SSHD, yes, SSHD, sorry about that. And uh, what I can tell is that this drive is really smart. Now, all of you know how the mechanical hard drive works. It has platters inside and a needle that uh, will read and write, so moving parts, and it's considered a slow drive. On the other hand, pure SSD has flash, no moving parts inside, so accessing for writes and reads will be very fast. And this one here is something in between. Uh, both on price and also on the performance, which I'm really glad and I'll share that with you in just a few seconds. Uh, it has 8 gigs of flash storage and 1 terabyte of uh, mechanical hard drive. Now, what surprised me is that this drive here is actually really smart. Now, before we test it or before we use it, we can think of it, hey, 8 gigs of flash storage, that's not enough. Just the operating system is much bigger than those 8 gigs. But the point is that the drive, uh, that's why I call it smart, the drive will actually uh, see which file are being used to boot up the system, which files are being used to open an app and then use those files to place it on the flash storage and the rest stays on the mechanical hard drive. So for example, if the operating system is 15 gigs, it will not place all the files on the flash storage because obviously not all uh, the files will be required to boot up the system, just a few ones, uh, just uh, some of them, sorry, just some of those files. And the drive is smart enough to see which files are being accessed uh, on the system and place those files on the flash storage. That's why uh, I'm really happy with this SSHD uh, solution and works great as I will show you in uh, just a few seconds. So 
when we see 8 gigs is not much but the way that the drive works because it will not let us users manage what's on the flash and what's on the mechanical and that's great because she works better than me obviously <laughs> uh, putting all those files that we don't know that are being used for example Photoshop which is another test that I will uh, show you as well opening Photoshop um, and Photoshop is a heavy app, it's a good example for those that are looking for a, a budget solution and faster performance. So Photoshop is about 1.5 gigs and it will not place the whole app inside the flash storage. It will only use the files that are required to open the app and will give us a great uh, improvement in performance, especially compared with a uh, regular hard drive or mechanical hard drive and having in mind the budget that we are working, which is uh, about 100 years. And that being said, uh, let's go for the performance test. I will show you a graphic uh, there on screen and also at the end of this video once I, uh, I shut up <laughs> which sometimes it's difficult but once I shut up you will have on the on the end of the video all the results that I, I shoot with the camera so that you can see uh, for yourself the kind of performance and the timing uh, because it's not just me talking you can see uh, for yourself and it gives a bigger impact at least on me I'm really happy with this uh, solution and that's why once again I wanted to share with you but getting back to that graphic uh, on the regular hard drive mechanical hard drive to boot up this system uh, by the way, have in mind that this is a fresh, a fresh installation of uh, Windows 10. I did uh, take all the data from my friends to external drive. Uh, I did a fresh install of Windows 10 and installed a few apps. Photoshop, which one is one of the, the apps that he uses, and made the tests with that. So. Um, when we install more apps uh, the system will check those apps if you use them or not and then we'll start uh, placing more and more on the flash storage but just have this in mind all the uh, drives have exactly the same data on them so no um, difference here in terms of operating system and apps actually i installed everything on the mechanical hard drive and then i cloned to the sshd and to the uh, ssd so let's go back to the graphic and show you the results booting up from the mechanical hard drive took two, um, 22 seconds not 200 22 seconds to boot this drive and to open photoshop 20 seconds now if you ask me hey robert i don't mind the the 20 seconds of boot mm, neither do i Actually, I do, but I could live with that. No, no problem at all. Uh, I can press the button and go have a drink, a water, orange juice, sandwich, whatever. And when I come back, the computer is ready for me. Now, opening an app while I'm on a computer, that's the thing that annoys me more. And honestly, since I've tried an SSD a few years ago, I never went back, at least for my operating system and apps. So 20 seconds to open Photoshop, this is a crazy, crazy timing. Let's go back to the graph and in terms of the SSHD, we can see that in boot time, uh, it improved uh, to 13 seconds, so almost half of the time that we took with a regular hard drive and then on Photoshop 8 seconds, which is just great. And have in mind that I did not use this drive intensively because this drive the first time that you boot up it will take the same time as a regular hard drive the first time that you open photoshop it will take the same time that you uh, uh, had on your regular hard drive but the second time it will decrease so uh, i've used about uh, four or five times during this week and it has learned but hopefully it will improve those timings that you are seeing on the graphic it will improve so probably i'm gonna get less two seconds or so on the boot time and less one or two seconds on opening a uh, photoshop app and the other apps that my friend will be using now lastly to finish up this part on the ssd obviously we are getting the best uh, performance booting up this system in seven seconds and opening photoshop in five seconds so that is it guys regarding the results as you can see uh, and i was really surprised the the way that this sshd worked uh, once again it's a really smart hard drive which today i can uh, share with you and if anyone asks me hey robert is though are those sshd drives like the Seagate um, uh, SSHD uh, worth it. My opinion from today on is that they are worth it. If you are within this, this budget, 100 euros, pounds, dollars, doesn't matter, uh, and you want better performance and keeping um, high capacity in terms of storage, then this is uh, one of the solutions that I can um, share with you that works great and 
uh, once again just wait a few more seconds and you will have all the results on video guys this is it for today's video uh, sharing with you a great experience that i had especially with the sshd and a comparison with a regular hard drive and also a ssd so if any uh, of you guys out there are on the same situation hopefully this video was helpful to you and if it was don't forget as usual those thumbs up over there my name is Alberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.